Hey guys, Miss Cortez here. Uh, I am coming at you from afar. Um, I am not at school today. I'm not teaching live today. So you get this recording of me. But since it's Monday for you, you guys need to um, look at your SMART goal sheet. You also need to look at your schedule. And I also want to recommend <clears throat> that you guys check your grades on manage back now I know that not everybody knows how to do that so I'm going to share my screen with you and show you exactly where to go to check your grades on manage back sorry for the glare on my glasses um, so I'm going to pop open my screen share here and show you exactly where to go to see your grades on manage back and I want you to um, <clears throat> Just go through your classes, see what tasks you have. Um, also be sure to double check the weekly learning document so that you know exactly what's going on this week. Um, so let's take a look over at Manage Back. Here we go. Okay, so you are going to log into Manage Back with your student email and your school password. Once you do that, you will be um, taken to your dashboard. This is really handy because you'll see, <clears throat> excuse me, exactly what is coming up. Um, since I'm recording this on Thursday, it shows Thursday as the first day of the week. Um, it's very late on Thursday night, but you, whatever day you um, log into your dashboard, that's the date that will be shown here. So um, some of you might have a French assignment coming up next Thursday. And you can also scroll here and see upcoming assignments that your teachers have already put in. Now this certainly isn't everything because some of your teachers also have things listed in Google Classroom. So now let's take a look and um, check our grades. So on the left hand side, if for some reason this taskbar isn't here, um, you can just toggle it by hitting the menu button. You're going to go down to classes, click on that, and that's going to show all your classes. Now, if you know something has already been graded, you can go directly to it. So let's take a look at art, since that's my class and I know that I have graded some things. <clears throat> so once you're into art, then you're going to go to the tasks button. Um, this is going to show you all of the current tasks that have been graded. And if your teacher has left any comments, like I've done here, this first task was just whether or not you completed it. And then your imaginary pet, um, I created as a formative. So you got a word, novice, learner, practitioner, or expert, okay? In math, I know a couple things have been graded. So again, we have toggled the task button here. And in math, one assignment was just given comments and another assignment was given comments and a grade. Um, the criteria C, communicating, um, the student got a five out of eight. You can also look at um, the overview for math and see what's coming up as well. Um, and I don't know if anything else has been graded yet. Not quite yet, this, is, this one was due um, today or uh, yes, today. So um, once Miss Jorgensen gets that graded, then the student will have a score right here. Now, if you go to our Google Classroom or any of your Google Classrooms, um, you will have a slightly different view than I do when you get something returned in your classwork section, you'll be able to go to that assignment and see um, whether or not it was finished and what your grade was. So let me um, toggle over to that really fast and show you what that might look like from a student perspective. So from a student perspective, if a teacher does give you a grade in a specific task, a great way to start is just going to this to do tab, all right? So 
right here we have two things that are due this week, uh, a couple of upcoming assignments, right? And um, anything that's missing will be listed in the missing tab. Um, and then anything done will be listed in the done. Some of these are just um, things that were turned in, and then you can click on it to see whether or not you got a grade for that particular thing. Um, there wasn't a grade for this, so you won't see anything here, but occasionally if you do turn something in that has a grade, you should be able to see that. Let's take a look at this exit slide. Nope, okay. So I don't see anything rated yet in Google Classroom. Um, if that does come up, then usually you will see a score um, listed. Let's see if there's anything listed beforehand. Um, no, okay. So um, once we start having grades um, available in Google Classroom, if a teacher chooses to do that, then you should see um, the score for that particular task. So those are just a couple of ways that you can check your grades. Um, I am sorry that I am not there with you in person and that we're not having a live Zoom class, but hopefully after watching this little video, you can check your goal sheet, you can check your grades and make sure that you know exactly what's coming up for this week so that you can prep your um, planner or your schedule. Remember, in our Google Classroom, I have posted a couple of um, planner sheets. So let's jump back into that really fast. If we go to advisory, I have posted for you um, a two different versions of a planner sheet. So if you don't have a planner or a schedule, you can print that off or you can certainly make your own. I strongly recommend that you have a planner, um, but uh, if you don't, then you can print off those sheets. Okay, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Um, and I will see you tomorrow live um, for our regularly scheduled advisory class. Bye.